today we're doing a video what's in my lolita bag let's go my name is joelle and you're watching the channel fluffy kawaii jo where i try to show you that everybody can be kawaii i'm doing lolita videos on mondays and thursdays so if you're new here please consider subscribing so let's get on to the video and at the very end i will tell you more about my coordinates so I always wanted to do a video about what's in my bag and since Mary Robbins returned just released I wanted to do a coordinate inspired by her on the poster so I will tell you more about the coordinate at the end but right now this is my Alice clock bag something like that from Baby Distortion Bright and it's huge and you won't imagine what I put in it and how much more stuff I could have put in when I compared to uh, Marianne's pony bag from Angelic Pretty where she can put one glove or like three pieces of makeup so this is ridiculous. So this one is awesome and I love it. So let's get to what's inside of it. So it has this strap that I usually use but will get in the way today. So let me show you that I could even have fit more stuff inside of it. There's tons of more space in it, that's crazy. Okay, I will go in no particular order. Let's uh, just go through everything that's on top of it. So, medication. Usually uh, when my bag is very full, I just take a few. Uh, basically, I'm lactose intolerant, so I have uh, pills to digest lactose. So it's not too bad, so it's not that I cannot eat anything with lactose or drink anything it's just I can take pills so I do that so I have tons like inside of it so all the time I will have a power bank I have a smaller one this one is kind of a huge one but I have a smaller one for when my bag is too crowded but today even with all the big things you can see there's still space so if I want to go shopping, this is something I have all the time with me. Even when I don't go shopping, you always end up going, I don't know, somewhere that you have stuff to carry. And since I don't want any plastic bags, I have this Baby Distortion Bright bag that I love. This is, can't remember, Uzakumia uh, and Kumakumia's uh, Sweet Sweet Coronation something. So basically I love this print. I didn't want to buy the dress it was a little bit too pink but i have this bag and uh like my now three years two years something maybe even more than that i have it every day in my backpack and yeah i'll do all my groceries in that and uh, when i go to the post office anyway everything in this one i love it mm, tissues all the time tissues uh, hand cream. I have a very cute Hello Kitty one that was gifted to me by my friend Ocean. And it's... Okay, 2011. I mean, basically it's not that I'm going to ingest it or anything, so it still works, don't worry. Okay, this is the thing I have around my neck usually. This clip is to hold my phone and this is my Pokemon Go Plus. Today it looks terrible, but it has a sticker. Usually I change the sticker. This one has Fluffy Tori um, Sweet Chocolate Journey print on it. And since I had made a bunch of those stickers, usually I switch and now I don't have any. I have to reprint them. So that's why I'm uh, super lazy and procrastinating changing it because it's a bit longer than usual. Anyways, uh, I have that around my neck all the time. Just when not I'm wearing Lolita, I just put that in my bag so that it's not ugly when I carry my whole cord in it, everything. But um, when I, at the end of the evening, I just put that back so I can have my phone and it's easier to click on the Pokemon Go Plus all the time. So if you don't know, this is for catching Pokemon in Pokemon Go. So it will vibrate and light up and you click on it and it tries to catch some. Okay, I usually have some kind of, boom boom, I just said like heart candy, uh, throat candy. So those are Ricola, uh, they're kind of known everywhere in the world. They're from Switzerland, by the way. So this is winter season. Usually I have these ones. So when I have, throat ache and in the summer I have like 
summery ones like I had some with melon or watermelon or something and so sometimes you're just super thirsty and you do not have anything to drink and so I found that um, getting one of these candies uh, make your mouth salivate and so it helps with being thirsty and you can wait, l wait longer until you can get some drinks so that's cool okay so guys I'm super ashamed of that this is my wallet okay maybe you can help me guys I have this ugly wallet since pff, maybe five years or something. It's super sturdy, I give it that, but it's super ugly. But I have so many cards, like, um, I don't know, I have some business cards, I have uh, shop cards, some um, uh, credit cards, ID card, and tons of, you know, coupon cards, like point cards from tons of stores and some money but I have never found a place usually they have you know flap with like three maybe four or five spaces for cards on one side and on the other but you can put like 10 cards in it and that doesn't work for me I need a super thick one with tons of space for cards and usually they do never have very cute wallets with enough space so every single time for like 10 years maybe not, I have bought many and then I realized they're not practical and I switched back to this one so every time I see wallets the cute ones somewhere I check and always they do not have enough space so if you knew a place or like a company that sells very cute wallets with tons of space let me know because I need like minimum like 20 30 cards I'm that crazy. So yeah, help me find that, please. Uh, okay, this is my new gimbal. And to do, 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 do. okay, this is to film super smooth videos with my phone. So it's huge, and so yes, I can put my phone in it. And yeah, so I put that in this, and it fits in my bag. I'm not joking guys. I'm actually taking everything from that guy bag here. I'm not I'm not cheating and putting things from somewhere else. I'm just it's not very easy to do that, but if you don't trust me, I mean you have to trust me. I wouldn't cheat about that. Umbrella, this is a very cute umbrella that I bought in Harajuku. That is super sweet. I love it. And what I love about the Japanese umbrellas is that they are super light, super cheap and super durable. I have tried buying the umbrellas at like H&M and they're like twice as heavy, twice as expensive and the first storm it will just die. And these I can like between 5 or 10 years uh, can use the same umbrella. That's really good. And also it's very cute and you can use it as a parasol in the summer, which is something that I do. Water, usually my water is full when I go out. And yeah, I try to find the smallest um, bottle possible so I can put it in my bag. I used to have a very cute one that I brought from Japan. It was like two, 20 centiliter, like tiny, tiny one. But uh, I've been using it for like six months. So something which is something you should not do uh, bacteria and everything I was just only putting water not syrup or anything sugary but you know this one is a little bit bigger uh, 33 centiliters so yeah I'll have to find another cute one okay and um, earphones basically um, when I go to meets or anywhere when I travel, I edit videos, so I need that to not disturb people in the train, bus, whatever. Uh, a pen, I always have a pen with me. This one's not very cute. I do not have that many cute pens, actually. I have a few cute pencils, but not very pens. Uh, so yeah, pen. Very useful to have a pen. Then, I have my Yves Saint Laurent. Touche éclat, which is something that's uh, a lifesaver when I need to have some makeup on and I go throughout my regular day. I always, okay, so I have some kind of allergies. I have to blow my nose every day, hundreds of times. 
every time of the year, like even in summer. So all the makeup here tends to go away. Sometimes you've seen that in my videos, I try to adjust it sometimes. And so this is like a pen, uh, you can do really like, add a little bit of a foundation back on it and it's awesome and it's Yves Saint Laurent so okay I know there are some cheaper options but uh, this one I bought when I did the Yves Saint Laurent makeover thing so I had to buy stuff so I bought this one and what else okay I always try to carry the lipstick I'm wearing with me to do touch-ups so especially when my appearance is really important when I'm doing videos or stuff I carry the lipstick also this one is the Yves Saint Laurent one and I this is the one that I got engraved with my channel name Fleur Vigo I don't know if you can see it uh, okay then what I usually do have with me all the time every day it's a labello which is a chapsticks this is like the regular one and this is one that I use a lot for videos, also like basic ones, not very Lolita ones, or uh, pictures. This is a chapstick, but that is a little bit colored. So it will not do the same effect as a um, like big licks lipstick, but if you just want some quick blood to your lips, like redness, this is perfect. And so I don't use that every day, really just this one, just for like, you know, having nice um, smooth lips, but this one helps for photos. And so usually if I do have the lipstick with me, I might not always have this one, but when I have space, I put two in there. Okay, what else? Okay, this is my super cute, this is my super cute comb. I was looking for a nice comb uh, to put in my bag and I found one from Swimmer. They had already uh, closed down, but I bought it on eBay and uh, what I like about it is that it's uh, foldable, collapsible, so then it will never break because if you put that in a bag, it will probably break. This one doesn't. And so on the back, there is kind of a mirror, but you're better off with your phone <laughs> because the mirror is kind of useless it's not in, yeah anyways so very nice comb and it's a nice uh, keepsake from a swimmer and uh, also it's mint and it's kind of a shape of a heart kind of gem something and has a very cute bow here. I love it. And unfortunately the design has been already scratched off because I put it in my bag every day so yeah. Okay but I love this. This is very useful and I can just ch touch up thousands of times a day my bangs. Every time I film a video I'm super yeah I have to redo my hair all the time. What else? Okay. Uh, I have only one here. No, sorry. No. Okay. I'm wearing contacts because usually I have glasses in my everyday life and you're supposed to carry your glasses every time with you when you're wearing glass uh, contacts, but I find it super more useful to wear a change of contacts just in case I lose one or I have to change one. Uh, carrying my big box of big glasses. My glasses are huge. It's too big, so I'm just carrying a pair of uh, contacts, just in case. And last but not least, definitely not least, is business cards. I have a quite big stack here. Usually I have some uh, with a flip story and some with my channel. This is my business card for my channel. And so here you have my YouTube channel and my website. And I also um, plug flip story on this. So that's very nice. Just in case I meet people, usually people, uh, when you're in Lolita, they ask for your picture. And so then each time I give them a business card. So then, okay, you want a picture, but go check out my channel. And also sometimes I'm like, why are you wearing this? And people asking questions. I'm like, go check out my channel. You will learn more about this. And since it has my face on it, they will recognize where it comes from. And also it says everybody can be kawaii. So this is also a good reminder for everybody that everybody can book away. Yes, so I have a big stack, especially when I go outside and meet other people. 
in the street. I tend to give a lot of business cards or when I go to a meet where I don't know any body or not so many people, I always take my business cards with me to uh, advertise my channel. That's it, my bag is empty. So yeah, I, I swear guys, everything was in this bag, just didn't took it out of it right now here. I, if I wanted to lie to you, actually, I could have cut or and add more things. So there's no point in doing that. So this was everything that was in my bag. I was really enjoy seeing other people's videos like that. And so I wanted to do one for you. So basically, usually I have, okay, let me show you. So basically this is my everyday bag. This is, uh, eat a bag backpack that I bought in Japan and it has fluffy door pins and one here from Kawaii Mono and I should totally update it with all the new pins because I have so many more, much more but I'm lazy and I don't do it and this is a um, charm for that I bought in Japan in temple and so basically Everything that I showed you here usually is in this bag, like maybe every day I'm not carrying my lipstick or my gimbal, but yeah, everything else that I showed you here is in my backpack and when I go to a meet, I take the stuff from my backpack to my current bag that I will wear with the coordinates. So basically it's almost like what's in your everyday bag. I just have one pouch where I put like um, prescriptions and uh, paper that needs to be uh, flat and I have maybe a second uh, pen and maybe some snacks or stuff like that, but not that much more. So basically there was also a general what's in my bag. So um, question for you guys. Did you believe that I was going to put so much stuff in that bag? And which bag is your favorite one uh, where you can put tons of stuff? Write it down in the comments below. I'm really anxious to know about other big bags because I love big bags. Actually, I have a few very small ones, but I don't like them because I need to carry so much stuff. And so this gimbal basically will allow me to film videos uh, with my phone, which is a, actually a super super good phone quality uh, video quality from my phone and Sometimes I will carry my big uh, DSLR, but it also needs to have the Microphone on top and so it's super bulky. It's like this big and Sometimes for some meets I just don't want to and so I'm super happy to take my phone plus my phone has some uh, advertisement for my channel on back of it so when I'm filming people can actually see my channel so yep and um, basically since I got the big DSLR and the microphone uh, I've still been doing the vlogs the part where you see my face from my phone because uh, it's easier to carry and the sound is better than on just the regular camera and so I need the big um, microphone on top but for filming inside videos that's perfect and actually so with this I think it will be uh, long enough to have yeah very good quality and super smooth and everything and maybe one time I will demonstrate it more but I have not used it very often yet. So let me tell you about my coordinates. So I wanted to reproduce the poster of Mary Poppins Return that I will put here and uh, basically I just uh, picked up stuff from my own wardrobe. So the super big hat that she has is actually here just a uh, maroon beret that I bought on AliExpress and this head bow from Aliexpress and this is a wig from Borderline and this bow is from Claire's and this is my little deeper dress navy that I love and I put some wrist cuffs from Pico Calorum to make like the gloves and I also do have the umbrella that uh, yeah, I used for maybe the picture, but yeah, mine doesn't have a nice pomo. I don't know how to say that in English, like 
top here handle. And so yep, this is not even the same color, but Mary Poppins has to have an umbrella, so that's cute. So thank you so much for watching this video. Remember, everybody can be kawaii and see you soon. Bye bye! Thank you.